Mr. Landlord. Oh, Mr. Is Landlord. Is that a Brazilian experience? That's your experience or that's just observing? I experienced that. I was in the tenement area also too. Living in the city, I was, my mom, she was like leaving from her mom, that's my grandma's house, and then go, going out on her own with we, her children. So she moved into a yard, which was a tenement yard also. So while living in the tenement yard, sometimes the landlord, he would be still getting his rent, but sometimes he would take a while before he paid the water bill. <laughs> so sometimes the water commission uh, people they would come and turn off the pipe because yeah. no water bill was never paid. Even the lights, sometimes they would lock off the light because the light bill never been paid. Yeah. And by that, these lyrics came about in my mind also yeah. because I was going through these situations. So I sing about them. Yeah. And the tenement is always something we are in. We as a people in Jamaica go through that farmer life yeah. one way or another. Yeah. Some of us who did not have enough money to buy a house or a yard for ourselves personally, we had to pay rent. So the, land, the landlord and the tenement was a norm, yeah. normality to yeah. Jamaicans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, the big one now, Substitute Lover, because that's early 90s or late 80s? Ah, early 90s. Early 90s, right? right? Substitute Lover, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Substitute yeah. Lover was produced by Bobby Digital. In 1992, I did it. Yeah. And they took it to London before it was even released. Uh, officially, they released it in London, they call it a white label, meaning that it's not really officially released yet. And the white label that they released it on before, it run away like river, yeah. like wildfire. And then when they officially released it on their labels, it went so big. It went even in Africa, because one of the producers, he took it to Africa too, and it was, yeah. so, take, take, take a lot of coverage. Was that a freestyle also, or you wrote that one? I wrote that one. Yeah, I was yeah. like singing that one back in 78, 79 in the dance hall, freestyle night time. Yeah. And the same producer, Bobby Digital, he knew that song and remembered that I used to sing it. And he said, Pint, you remember that song you used to sing back in the days? And I'm, this is like about 20 years after, yeah. 92. And it was like, I used to do it like about 78, 79, 80. And in 1992, I recorded it officially. Yeah. And Bobby, Bobby Digital, the producer, he reminded me of it. And I was like, oh yeah. And he started to play some rhythms in his studio, which rhythm I made suitable to be recorded to the end. And he played that song, the Move It Away rhythm, which Ken Booth had done. Yeah. I can feel you moving away, baby, more every day. And that's the rhythm. I did the song Substitute Lover over. Yeah, yeah. I just rendition Substitute Lover over it, yeah. Alright, we keep then. Well let me hear you say my own. 